Good morning, folks. I'm Tori. Welcome to Bass Strategy. Today we're headed out on the water. I just pulled up to the boat ramp at this pond here. Uh, we actually tried to come out here to the same pond last week and it didn't get more, much more than a couple of casts in before some pretty bad thunderstorms moved in and I had to head on in. This is the Jackal Archelon. I'm going to throw that into some pads that I got right in front of me. But we're back here this week and the name of the game on this pond is grass. There's a ton of grass on this pond. It's not a shallow water pond all the way across. There's some really good deep holes, 25, 35 feet deep. Now it is still completely dark out. You can't see anything out there right now. You can you can see this is my window right here. There's it's it's completely black. But last week I got some great footage of myself getting the boat ready. So we're going to roll that footage, and while I'm actually getting my boat ready, hopefully the sun comes up a little bit and you can actually see. So let's get going. Here I am on the water. It is going to be a weather day today. Uh, we actually just had some rain push through the area. It was a quick little cell and I hope that's going to be it for a little while. But we got some strong cloud cover here this morning. Um, actually did a little bit of fishing. It was super dark out because of the thick cloud cover. Finally you guys can see me and I'm going to, I'm actually throwing the swim jig right now and I'm going to continue doing that and we'll see what we can do. to get in there with a frog, just a white frog. Oh guys, got a bite and no tail. That's okay. All right guys, I'm gonna actually change out my swim jig trailer. Sometimes if you're not getting a lot of activity on a swim jig or a bladed jig, um, a trailer change can really make a big difference. So I'm actually, I was actually feeling that maybe that wasn't the right trailer for today, so I'm gonna change it to a different one. I thought this one was a little bit too, uh, had too big of a profile, so I'm gonna change it to a smaller, um, smaller trailer. All right guys, I also wanted to point out when I made my trailer change, I also had to change the size of my jig. So this is the jig that I was using a moment ago. Look at the size of this, the hook on this jig, and um, I believe this is a half ounce jig. Now the jig I ended up moving to is this. Look how much smaller that hook is. It's a 3 8 ounce jig and it's a much smaller trailer. If I put this trailer on this jig, it'd just be a lot of jig for this trailer. It's, it's much smaller than the one I was using before. But this finesse style swim jig and this small little trailer work really well together. So just keep that in mind if you uh, are throwing swim jigs. You always, always want to match the size of your trailer to the jig. Alright guys, I just checked out the radar and we are about to get crushed by some heavy rain. I've been out here for less than an hour, a little less than an hour, and the radar has gone from pretty clear, maybe that just one little cell that we got right when we started and now there's just a wall of rain coming in. 
So the point is, if we're gonna start catching fish, we better do it now because we're not gonna be able to stay out here too much longer. There we go. Small one. Go. Well, at least we're not going to go home without any fish. A little small one here on the swim jig. Another small one. All right guys, like I said, I have got to move fast. Uh, it's already starting to come down a little bit just just misting right now i don't think i have a whole lot more time so i'm just going to keep moving really quick throwing the swim jig i think that's all it's going to be today unfortunately but let's hope we catch something bigger All right guys, looks like we're getting into some of that rain. So I'm gonna put away most of my stuff. I might fish a little bit on my way back in, hoping it clears up. If so, we'll see what we can do. If not, that's gonna be it for the day. All right guys, I've wrapped up the boat. It's unfortunately the end of the day. The rain had moved in. I checked out the radar to see if it would be any improvement over the next hour or so, and it's not gonna happen. There's a solid wall of heavy rain. It's probably going to be in the area for a while. So that's unfortunately going to be it. It's too bad. I didn't get to do everything I set out to do. I really only got to use my swim jig and a little bit of the frog early on. And that was it. I was out here maybe a total of an hour, hour and a half, uh, somewhere like that before it moved in. And like I said, it came out of nowhere. So that's too bad. We did end up catching a couple of small fish. Wasn't the quality I was looking for, but that's what happens on these weather impact days. I just have to cover as much water as I can really quickly and hope for the best. I'll just say that's two times I've tried to come to this pond and weather has sent me home. So I don't think I'm going to be coming back to this pond for a little while. Well, I hope you liked this video. If you did, give me that like. Consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. And I hope to see you next time.